Hello CBF, this is Mary Amesbury coming to you from University Circle Neighborhood. Today we're looking at trust from Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct your paths. This is a very familiar verse for many and yet it's good to remind ourselves of the tremendous truth of this verse. The one who created you has good paths for you if you'll yield yourself to Him. The difficult part of this verse is the alls. Trust in the Lord with all, not just some, of your heart. The thing about all is that it doesn't allow for being halfway in. In all your ways acknowledge Him. That's not a part-time gig. What does it mean to trust the Lord with all your heart? The Hebrew word trust means to hide for refuge, to be confident and sure. How do I trust the Lord fully and find refuge in Him? It's a daily thing, daily, hourly, minute by minute. I need to magnify the Lord in my mind and diminish my sense of needing to do everything on my own. As I mature in Christ, I learn what God is like, what He's capable of, and the ways that He works in my life. The God of the Bible is holy, loving, merciful, gracious, faithful, kind, just. He knows all things, has all power, and is everywhere present. He is a shield and a refuge, a provider and protector for His children. Most of all, He's in charge and aware of everything happening in our world at every moment. That kind of God can be trusted. He's the kind of God who wants to take over your life and use it for eternal purposes. If we want God to direct our paths, what Romans 12:2 calls that good and acceptable and perfect will of God, we can't be giving God only an hour a week on Sunday. We have to be aware of Him throughout the hours of our day, inquiring of the Lord whenever we have decisions to make or uncertain situations. Dependence on God the Holy Spirit is a good thing, a wise thing, a source of strength. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel, that will stand, Proverbs 19, 21. We can aspire to do many things, but we, that doesn't mean that we know how to accomplish them. The Bible's King David, as a warrior, frequently inquired of the Lord. Sometimes God affirmed David's plan, and other times God gave him a new, specific battle plan. Whenever David inquired of the Lord and followed the Lord's direction, he had victory. That's it for today. Please share your testimonies or questions in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback as we experience Proverbs. Bye for now.